Hey guys, what up? It's the Dominator here, and for those of you who don't know, I live in Canada, and it's a long weekend here, so I wanted to just kind of kick back and enjoy myself. I just cracked open a beer right now, and not really put in the usual amount of time and effort that I normally do for most of my videos, so I thought I'd just kind of whip together something quick and easy to tide you over till next week, but hopefully you enjoy it nonetheless, because in this video, we're going to be talking about who are my favorite bodybuilders. So these are the physiques I personally think are the best and the bodybuilders I admire most. I remember back in the day, probably around 2003, 2004, so I think I was in grade 11. Uh, this was the time when I was really first getting into bodybuilding and I just bought a copy of Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia Bodybuilding. Highly, highly recommend this one, by the way, it's amazing. I remember flipping through the pages of this thing, looking at all the amazing black and white photos and just being awestruck. So three bodybuilders in particular really made an impression on me because they literally looked like comic book superheroes come to life. I mean, the level of muscularity was just incredible, yet at the same time, they had such good shape and proportions and everything. Uh, these were the types of physiques I would actually aspire to look like, you know? Uh, yeah, so to get right into it, I kind of made this first picture a little ambiguous to try and build some suspense for those who might not be aware already, but I've said it multiple times before, that this is my favorite bodybuilder, Sean Ray. And yeah, I know a lot of you right now are probably like, what, why do you like this guy? He's a dickhead, man, he's such an asshole. He's always talking trash and dissing people like Lee Priest, Dorian Yates, uh, you name it, claiming he's the best 212 ever, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that's true. I will admit the man is something of an egotistical prick. <laughs> Although for for what it's worth, I actually agree with most of the stuff he says. Um, I find he's usually right. It's just that he doesn't really have any tact. He doesn't say stuff in a diplomatic fashion. And unlike Lee Priest, who's also brutally honest, he doesn't have that kind of self-deprecating sense of humor. So he comes across as very arrogant and bitter at times. And I think that's why so many people kind of hate his guts. Um, but seriously, at the end of the day, I don't really care about his personality. I mean, why should that even matter, man? We're talking about bodybuilding. All I care about is the physique and how he presents himself on stage. That's it. That's all that we should really uh, count. So this isn't a goddamn Miss America pageant, all right? And in that regard, love him or hate him, you can't deny that Sean Ray is unquestionably one of the best to ever do it. I mean, he was so complete from head to toe. I'd say the only other bodybuilder with this few weaknesses in terms of individual muscles is Phil Heath, okay? because Sean really didn't have a single bad body part. And unlike Phil, he actually has a killer set of abs, as we can see right here. So this is hands down the best ab and thigh of all time, in my opinion, especially this version from 1992. Uh, just look at the streamlined waist and all the detail going on here through the abs and serratus. It's pretty much perfection. Um, the legs were also very good and highly underrated. The guy had crazy separation in them quads and feathering to boot. Good hamstring sweep from the side and detail from the rear, conditioned glutes most of the time, and a respectable set of calves. The back as well had tons of thickness and detail, and he was just so polished. So that's the best word I can think of to describe him. The pecs and arms were also full and shapely, as well as we can see here at the 1999 Mr. Olympia, where he put on one of the best posing performances you'll ever see in your life. I can guarantee that. I've already made a whole video about it, so you can go and check it out after if you're interested. But suffice it to say that his posing was exceptional. So when you pair that with the physique this good, it's just untouchable. And he was also so consistent throughout his career, right? Uh, he always brought the conditioning. He was pretty much never off, so gotta give the man mad props for that. Uh, yeah, so Sean Ray's my number one, but the guy standing next to him here is a very close second in Flex Wheeler. And I feel like between the two of them, most notably Flex, say, in 1993, and Sean in, well, pick a year, man, 93, 94, 98, 99, whatever, he, he looked great so many times. But these two guys brought the best physiques to the stage we'll ever see. Uh, in the history of the sport, man. Hell, in the history of humanity, for that matter. And honestly, I don't see them ever being surpassed, um, especially now with the way bodybuilding is going these days. Uh, so Flex, with his tiny joints and waist and round sweeping muscle bellies, was like a cartoon character, a comic book superhero brought to life. And I remember watching Spider-Man as a kid, the 90s version, 
not the movies or the cartoon from back in the 60s or whatever, but they had another cartoon series in the 90s, and pretty much all the characters were drawn to look like bodybuilders with the broad shoulders and narrow waist. And that's exactly what Flex Wheeler reminds me of. Just something like a comic book artist might come up with. Because even when he got bigger and came in a little softer, like, like we see here, he still looked amazing. The shape and symmetry was just out of this world. For my money, nobody's more aesthetic than the Sultan of Symmetry. Uh, the reason I put Sean ahead ever so slightly, though, is probably because as a shorter guy myself, you know, I'm only about 5'7 and a half, 5'8, I can probably relate more to Sean's physique than to Flex's, who is a little taller and narrower. Uh, so I think that's why I gravitate to Ray a little bit more, but in any case, they're both top notch. I mean, shit, look at this front double bicep. Uh, even when he, when he came in smooth like this, it doesn't matter because look at the lines, dude. The arms, the delts, the way his quads sweep out from that tiny waist, it's unbelievable, man. This is what bodybuilding should be about. The shape, the balance, the aesthetics, not just who's the most massive, grainy, and freaky motherfucker up there, right? And from the rear, he was probably even better in this pose, so Flex's back beca became famous for his back double bicep, and you can see why. Uh, for those of you who say he doesn't have calves, I don't understand you guys, what are you looking at, man? Now, we can debate whether they're real or not, because, yeah, lots of people say that these are implants. I'm actually not sure, to be honest. Um, there's certainly been lots of rumors, and usually where there's smoke, there's fire, but... Uh, I'm not sure, so I can't tell you one way or the other, but either way, you can't say that he didn't have calves looking at this, right? Even if they're fake, uh, that's like saying a woman with fake titties doesn't have boobs, like, huh? <laughs> Better check your logic on that, man. Uh, okay, and my choice for number three, the guy on the left there, Kevin Lebroni. So, these three guys, um, not Ronnie, but you know who I'm talking about, Sean Flex Kevin. <laughs> these three guys are far and away my, my top three bodybuilders ever. And uh, when it comes to Lavroni, man, look at the side chest, absolute beast, the best to ever do it, I'd wager. Uh, well, even though Ronnie looks maybe better in this pick uh, and more impressive here, uh, overall I feel like they're pretty much neck and neck, uh, but Kevin had the edge when it came to consistency. And uh, in any case, this has got to be the best side chest picture in history, right? Can we all agree on that? I mean, can you ever put three bodybuilders like this side by side in the side chest and look better than this? No friggin' way, man. This is the tops. And Lebroni also had the best hands class, most muscular as well. You know, he owned this one, right? Look at those, like, shit, man. Jesus Christ, those triceps almost have peaks in them. The arms are enormous. The delts are boulders. Look at the quad sweep, too. The traps just sloping down like mountains. I mean, it's insane. What more could you ask for? And Kevin, I think, got pretty much as big as you can possibly get without spilling over and destroying your lines and the whole flow of your physique, because who else had wide flaring lats like those that could hang with the likes of Dorian, um, yet still maintained a trim midsection in great shape? So that's one thing I like so much about the guy is that he was able to blend the best of both worlds, you know what I'm saying? The type of muscularity we normally only see in mass monsters, with the lines and shape of old school aesthetic bodybuilders. And we can't forget, dude also had some crazy body parts. The best triceps, delts, and traps combo of all time, I'd say. Forget about Lee Labrada. This is the definition of mass with class right here. And just like Flex and Sean, Kevin was also a highly skilled poser. He put together some truly spine tingling routines over the years that really helped him emotionally connect to the audience and I think that's a major reason why so many people love the guy. He just has this undeniable charisma on stage. Um, so yeah, that's my top three right there. Sean Ray, Flex Wheeler, and Kevin Lebroni. In that order, although it's very close between Flex and Sean. The 90s was truly the golden era to me. And these uncrowned Mr. Olympias had the best physiques ever, if you, if you are to ask me. So please drop a like if you agree. And let me know in the comments who your favorite bodybuilders are. I'd be really interested to hear that. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's all for now. So until next time, homies, I'm the Tominator signing out, and I'll be back.